smiley face. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a mustache. <laughs> it is time for manifolds. Why are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? So on this episode, we're going to do something really, really cool. Uh, crazy needs some exhaust. So we had to get a little custom. We have a bunch of pieces that we need to make into manifolds. Yes. Um, we tried out every other combination, I feel like. Um, tried stock Silverado manifolds, stock Trailblazer manifolds. Mm -hmm. We test fit in CAD. Corvette manifolds, LS3 manifold, and we ordered some aftermarket. Uh, the block huggers from Summit. Yeah. That were supposed to fit, and they did not fit. So, this is kind of our last option, and I'm actually really excited about it because I wanted from the beginning. I wanted to weld my own manifolds, but it was a lot of work, and it was kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. But now we have to. So, dang it. Mm -hmm. So we got stainless pipe. Schedule 10 mm -hmm. pipe. Very thick. Thick wall and some V bands. Mm -hmm. And it's all mandrel pipe, inch and a half to two inch, I believe. Mm -hmm. And our hope is to have a good looking manifold. And? And the best part. So I think. I think if we design these right, well, I think Nick designed it right, but I think if we do this right, we can use them now as a naturally aspirated engine, and then we can flip one to possibly use a turbo and modify it. Hopefully. It's part of the reason we, possibly. we didn't buy expensive headers for a Z yeah. or try to build nice long tube headers. Because the goal is eventually to have the, 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 ham the hamster wheels. Let's get started. What did you make, Nick? A uh, big piece of plastic. But it's special. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to go through the work of trying to guess on notching these tubes, so I modeled everything in SolidWorks and then made these jigs to hold in the mill that will hold our pieces. I feel at like the, we're cheating. At the right angle. <laughs> so we can run a hole saw down. That's pretty darn cool. And make it notched at the right angle. So there's a left and a right. Yep. And then Randall, Nick's brother, is still printing the third, ver the third, the third version. Uh, the third jig for doing a few more cuts. Look at all that pipe. From Ace Race Parts? Yes. Ace has been awesome. That's pretty cool. Good design. Sweet. It's way better than we could have done with a grinder. Test fitting, make sure we're on the right track. It's almost like we meant to do it that way. It's almost like you drew it in a computer. So we didn't have to figure all this out. You're so smart. Mm -hmm. That is way cool. It's a nice way of saying nerd. I like nerds. <laughs> all right, so we got all of the tubes cut and now it's time to start polishing them. And this has been a lot of trial and error. I started doing it by hand, which I do not recommend. It is a pain, and I don't know how you guys do this, <laughs> but this is what we end up doing. Nick saved my hands. Found this awesome belt sander on Amazon. How much was this, Nick? 
Nick's doing his water pump. It's like 60 bucks. Sixty dollars on Amazon, but it was metric, mm -hmm. so it had to be drilled out for the standard five eighths eleven to fit on the grinder. But I tell you what, this thing has made short work of these. It kind of was a trial and error figuring out what grits I was gonna do. So I started with eighty grit, and I'm slowly working my way down to the finer grits because I didn't want to keep the stock finish, which is the the standard pipe dimply. I mean, it would look fine, but race car, so. Two thousand years later. All right, so the polishing is finally all done on the manifold pipes. Um, never tried that before. I was going for a mere finish and that definitely did not happen, but that's okay. We don't need to get that fancy. It's got a nice shiny-ish uh, brush finish, so that'll be just fine for what we're doing. We are actually in a new space to finish this project out. This is the Kendrick Garage. For those that did not see the Instagram post, we moved. Um, we just purchased our very first brand new crutch and it's not brand new it is 1915 and it's huge uh, we went from 600 square feet to 4200 square feet so we aren't quite sure what to do with all this space yet you have to stay tuned on the channel for more videos about this garage and as we remodel and fix it up what are you doing Nick? hi use <laughs> the press oh got the press moved into lena doll what do you think of your new garage? Huh? She's worried about what you're doing over there. Look how shiny those look. Mm-hmm. It's gonna look awesome. So now we're gonna trace around these primaries where we need to cut and then use a hole saw and open them up. Hey boss, I'll hold the vacuum. Oh yeah. And you do that machine stuff that you just rock at. You don't want to turn the levers? You're doing a wonderful job. Mm. I do, but I'm scared to mess up. Mm. This stainless is not cut easy. Yeah, it cuts a little interesting. And I'm not a pro. I think it looks beautiful. Continue. It's doing things. <laughs> Nice hairs. I'm glad you didn't get them caught in the machinery. <laughs> okay, I forgot my hair tie, but the zip tie works. <laughs> You're hilarious. I, mm -hmm. I don't want to lose all of them. Okay. Today's fashion tip from Autumn. Zip ties. <laughs> or hair ties. Mm. Hmm. Nice. We are back in the Kendrick garage. Um, last night, Nick and I finished cutting the holes on the main logs. Uh, Nick was able to use an end mill to punch those out, a rough cut, and then I went back over with a die grinder. Got those all cleaned up, so now we're all ready to tack the primaries to the flanges. I'm really excited. I've actually never had my own TIG set up and this is the first time, the first trial run using that. So I'm really excited. A little nervous, but woohoo! <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. And for this project, I'm gonna be using some goods from Washington Alloy. Um, they offer all kinds of TIG rods at weldingwire.com. You can check them out. I've gotten to use them at work, but never at home. I'm trying out their new, their new welding helmet and some stainless 304 TIG rod. I'm also be using the 
some of the new laser tungsten from CK Worldwide. I'm really excited to try that out. So thanks guys for, for sending that. And then I'm trying out a new purge system. Nick and I did a purge system on his exhaust with the rubber gloves, if you didn't see that. Um, but this time I got my own purge caps. So these came actually from a powder coat supply online for a lot cheaper than you can get other ones online. All right, let's get started. Are you ready? Where's your ball? Oh, where's your ball? What do you got? Oh, new bandana for the collection. They even thought of you. Huh. You so fancy. You fancy dog. got those manifolds all welded up and I didn't mess them up <laughs> that was the main goal on those having all those pieces shined up before welding um, makes it really it's a really nerve-wracking experience honestly can't mess up the welds because you can't grind on a polished piece but they turned out good I'm happy with them it was a ton of fun so now we're gonna test fit in the engine bay and see how they fit with the spark plugs and the wires would you just look at them those look so good. Mm -hmm. We still have to figure out um, the N90, so we're gonna save that for when we do the rest of the exhaust and do our steering placement and make sure that the engine mounts are where we want them. So we're gonna leave that part off for now, but. Mm. So we went with some spark plug wires. We were looking at ones for a Corvette, but they are red and I wanted black ones. So we found some for a van? Yeah, like the Savannah or Express vans, I think. I literally just Googled black yeah, <laughs> AC so Delco. They're, they're 90 degree off the plug, off the spark plug. Yeah. And then did some TR6 spark plugs from NGK. Those are recommended by Sloppy Mechanics. Matt. Matt Happel. And this is how they look. So the clearance is pretty good compared to some headers. I think the only one that's going to be a little tight might be this one, just this, because of how it's how it has that little offset. Still like quarter inch there. Yeah. So we might need to find a shield for that one, or I mean, if we have issues, we can change them out down the road. But that's pretty cool. I think that's going to wrap up the manifolds. Yeah. Nice job. Nice design, Nick McPherson. Very nice. All right, guys. The manifolds are in the car. They are test fitted, and now they are done. 
This is where we're gonna pause the progress on the exhaust. We're gonna wait to run the rest of the exhaust out the back until we have the transmission and cross member all fabricated and in. So stay tuned for that. But for now, the crazy has exhaust manifolds. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, Washington Alloy, for the welding hood and the TIG rod that I used on this project. They both worked out great. And thank you, O'Reilly's, for having the spark plug wires and spark plugs and exhaust manifold gaskets that I will be bolting in when everything goes together for the final run. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.